Welcome to OmniTile Standalone. My name is Martin and in this video I'll give you a brief overview of how you can create pattern textures and materials with OmniTiles. When you open OmniTiles you'll see this screen and this is the pattern editor. So you can create patterns very easily by adding one here, like a rectangular. And um, basically when you edit this and resize it to full size, you have just a square similar to any bitmap texture in a 3D application. So um, if you increase the tiling, I'll switch to edge, you'll see that uh, you have these tiles and uh, if you add a texture, um, you will see that these these just repeat. I've already turned on the the random mirroring, but usually you would only you see the tiling. So what happens if we load uh, multi textures? Is that these multi textures are randomly distributed within the pattern? So this is how you can very easily create random textures and pattern textures and uh, increase the tiling, still get the random textures uh, spread across the, uh, along the pattern and bake them out as uh, tileable textures for any for use in any other application. Select the resolution up to 16K, anti-aliasing, select an output name, format, bitmap format, and hit render. So that's basically it. And uh, let's see, simple mosaic output test. Here we go. And that's the texture. And the cool thing is that it includes layers uh, depending on those you've loaded in the texture. So we have bump maps, displacement and mask. And these are also included in the rendering and uh, you can see that these have automatically been created here even the edge mask oh that's a different one and um, yeah so that's the basic principle now let's create a, a little bit more complex pattern uh, I'd, I'd like to create a wood parquet and I'm just editing the shape to look like a rectangular shape and clone it. Furthermore, you see that these overlap, which makes the whole thing tileable. Then uh, I'm rotating the shape, move it to the top position and do more clones. Oops, that's one little bit too much. Okay, and uh, you'll see here we have a pattern, just the colors right now. But if I'm loading textures, let's say the included uh, wood parquet textures, we have this wood parquet pattern. Even bump maps are available, sorry. And uh, also this one can be managed. There is one which I don't like so much, so I'm just removing that. The screen updates, this one either. Remove. And uh, there we go. Increase tiling and um, send out the textures. Let's get. Render. And there we are. Wood parquet, edge map, and bump map. Now it doesn't end there with simple rectangular shapes. Uh, you can create any shape type, basically, and uh, smooth the shapes, rotate, etc to create very different kinds of patterns. 
using the gradient ramp, um, you can even create the uh, uh, displacement maps, for example, and um, other things. So um, if you want to get quick results, you can use the included patterns. We've included over 80 patterns in total and uh, you can quickly switch through with these next and previous buttons to see what kind of patterns we have. Uh, I just saw an arrow. So I'll just quickly correct this. Save pattern. And um, then load textures um, to see how they work with uh, with the pattern um, using these red bricks and you can still continue to preview these patterns with the textures and uh, find what you need you can even mix and add different textures like uh, these append and they will be added to the texture catalog and they are mixed so we've concluded some demo presets um, like this two color cross bond for example or uh, the diagonal wood parquet or cobblestones or a roman mosaic floor and in this example you can see that i've created two groups one general group and one group which include just specific tiles and shapes and then I've assigned the black textures, mosaic textures, to the white group one here and uh, the, the white to the all and this is the result. You can again uh, increase the tiling, render out your texture uh, and adjust the resolution so you got what you need and all of these remember are random randomly distributed across the pattern.